Today we're gonna make a comparison between MWT tank battles in the War Thunder Mobile. And I think that I'm the right person to do this comparison because I played both games. Okay, so I have been waiting for MWT since uh, the very first day that it was announced back in 2021. And I was an alpha tester of War Thunder Mobile. Literally, I have every single platoon of the game, including all the tech trees and all the warships of the game. So I feel like I have the right to do this. Okay, so it is too soon to say that one game is better than another one because MWT is just at its alpha test. So it is not like enough time to say like, bro, this game is trash or this game is the best game ever. And we have to start from a point and it is that the devs that are working with MWT tank battles are the same creators of modern warships working together with the same devs of War Thunder Mobile and War Thunder. I mean, they are working with Gaijin in order not only to develop but also to distribute this game because we will have a PC version of MWT tank battles. So, when I posted the video of MWT, a war started, bro. Literally, everyone in the comments was saying, bro, this game is better than War Thunder Mobile. Other people, I mean, the War Thunder community was saying, bro, this is so bad. It is so unrealistic. We have health bars. We don't have realistic modules. The aircraft mode is so air -gate. So we're gonna talk about that and make a real comparison because we have to be realistic with the both the games. First of all, MWT is not a competitor of War Thunder or War Thunder Mobile. Okay, so we have to start by that point. It actually doesn't mean that this game is gonna kill uh, those games. No, it is not gonna happen because MWT is intended to compete against games like World of Tanks and the World of Tanks Blitz. Remember that with the Blitz you have the PC and the mobile version as well. But here we have modern equipment, jets, drones, and so much more that it is not on any other mobile game just by now. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the damage system because everyone was talking about it, comparing it with the War Thunder damage system. So with MWT, there's like this kind of hybrid damage mode in which you will have some modules which are not as realistic as the modules that you have in War Thunder. Keep in mind that in MWT tank battles, there is no crew. Okay, so you can't destroy a tank by killing the crew. It is not possible. But there's like the ammo rack, the engine, the fuel tank, and also other things I don't remember which are. But we have like armor penetration indicator, something that we don't have in World Thunder Mobile yet. And of course the health bars. So it's like a mix between War Thunder and the World of Tanks Blitz. It's like... <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but that's exactly what we have over here. The people say that this damage system is so bad that it is not realistic, but they are not trying to make a realistic game, okay? So they are trying to make a game similar to Modern Warships, which is uh, their original project. Because that's the target audience, the Modern Warships players and the World of Tanks players, okay? So that's what I guess of this. Of course, that in terms of realism, War Thunder Mobile is way better with the damage, the penetration, the modules. I mean, War Thunder Mobile is miles ahead. And also, it's a game that has been out over more than a year. So that was a lot of time in order to improve a lot of things of the game. Apparently, to my knowledge, there's no overpressure in MWT tank battles. Okay, so that's what I know. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And that's a feature that we have in War Thunder Mobile. Okay, so with the high explosive shells and the rest of the equipment that can cause this. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the graphics. Okay, people were saying that the graphics of MWT were way too cartoonish, that it were bad, because they were comparing it with the War Thunder Mobile graphics. Remember that with War Thunder Mobile, with the best devices, you can use a ray tracing and it will look exactly like the PC version of the game. In MWT, there's no ray tracing, but you can play at ultra graphics with 120 FPS and it looks good in my opinion. I played both the games. There's a difference, but MWT is really good to play. I mean, the graphics aspect is something that I enjoy of this game. About the vehicles, okay, so there will be a difference between both games, because remember that every time that you purchase a tank in War Thunder Mobile, you're getting four, because you're actually getting a platoon, and it won't be the case for MWT, 
every time that you're gonna try to purchase a premium tank, you're gonna receive only that vehicle. We will have more modern equipment in MWT tank battles, even though they are planning to add modern equipment to World Thunder Mobile as well, because okay, so we will have the Abrams in the future, and if we talk a little bit about the aviation mode, we will have jets and also the modern jets like the A-10, the MiG-29 and the much more. But that's not important there because we're talking about MWT. The gameplay aspect is... Th those are like two different worlds because in MWT you will have helicopters, bombers, strike fighters in the same battle and also these are drones which are not available in World Thunder Mobile. You can literally use artillery with your drones. Okay, so with uh, the drones you can get close to a target, aim, and it will automatically send the projectiles right to the target. The maps are way different. Okay, so the maps of MWT are way huge compared to the World Thunder Mobile maps. Okay, so these maps are bigger and also with a lot of difference in the height of the terrain. So you will have a lot of mountains that you can literally climb with your vehicle and also there are some warships and aircraft carriers in which you can get in order to destroy everyone so you will have like a better vision of the map and yeah that's cool i guess that they did that because of the pc version talking about the pc version i remember that someone said why would you play the pc version of this game if there are games like war thunder for pc and you're right because the target audience of this game, just as I said, are the modern warships players in the, the World of Tanks in the World of Tanks Blitz players. Also, other players that never played these kind of games before, because this is extremely different to all of the tank games out there. I'm not talking about realism, I'm talking about the mechanics and the futuristic vehicles that you will have with MWT. About the aviation, I mean the aviation of the tank mode of both the games, we have that in MWT compared to modern warships we have some improvements now it is more realistic compared to modern warships but it is still a little bit arcade to be honest but there are some incredible effects like literally you can break the sound barrier and you can land your plane everywhere okay so this is not realistic but it is a fun feature to be honest also in MWT we will have helicopters I don't know if they will add it at some point in War Thunder Mobile, but currently it doesn't have helicopters yet. And th the helicopters are really important in this game because you can literally destroy the, all the enemies, also you can change the altitude, something that wasn't possible back in modern warships, but now you can do it. And th you will be able to change the equipment of all your aircrafts. You can't do that in the tank mode of War Thunder Mobile. Okay, so maybe you're able to do it in the aviation mode, but not in the tank mode yet. So the aircrafts are equipped with multiple pylons that you can change, I'm talking about MWT, you can add bombs, anti-tank missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, and much more equipment. If we talk about a variety of vehicles, of course that we will have more vehicles in War Thunder Mobile, but if we talk about modern equipment, MWT will be the winner, that's why this game is different. About the customization of the game, there's a feature that it is only available for MWT and that's a game changer, okay? So believe it or not, maybe it doesn't affect the gameplay, but the players are free to create their own camouflage. And uh, trust me, they can do incredible things with uh, this feature, like create flags, anime camouflage, funny memes to the tanks, and uh, much more. Literally, there are unlimited options to create with uh, this. And in War Thunder Mobile, we are limited to choose like 4 or 5 camouflage for every tank. And you have to purchase those with golden eagles. And the camouflages of War Thunder Mobile are like normal camouflages, nothing special to be honest. And that's something that is really good about MWT. MWT is all about modern equipment, okay? So here you will have the opportunity to use helicopters and also aircraft since level 10. Okay, so it will take you like one or two days to reach level 10. But in War Thunder, in order to get jets, you have to play a lot. Trust me, without a premium account, it will take you a lot of time in order to reach a high rank to be able to use jets in the game. So, my final verdict, which is the best? My answer is, both are good games. 
Don't waste your time, don't compare the two games, don't create words. Just enjoy the two games, bro, because those are totally different games. If you don't like health bars, that's right, then stick to World Thunder Mobile. And if you're a MWT player, then enjoy your game and don't compare it with another one. I will be covering both the games on my channel, so be sure to like and subscribe because I will post every single update in the new vehicle about both MWT and the World Thunder Mobile.